What up? My name is Kevin Perjurer, and welcome to another edition in Defunct Land. For background slash context on this series, please visit thepurge.com with the link below. Today, we will be attempting to resurrect again, not necessarily a specific attraction, but more of a type of attraction, that type being pretzel dark rides. This was suggested by Mr6507, so thank you and everyone else who has been commenting. The Pretzel Amusement Ride Company was founded by Marvin Remfer and Leon Cassidy. Cassidy was a young musician and entrepreneur. He strayed away from music when he and Remfer acquired the Tumbling Dam Amusement Park. Now, amusement parks back then were obviously a lot different than they are today. When Cassidy and Remfer added a merry-go-round and a water slide to the park, that was considered a modernization. The park wasn't incredibly successful, and Cassidy felt that it needed an old mill, which is basically a dark ride with boats. If you're not familiar with the dark ride, it is essentially a ride that showcases specially lit scenes as visitors ride through them. The attraction would have been too expensive, so they looked for other options. Remfer and Cassidy began working with an old bumper car and eventually worked out a waterless version of the mill ride, which they patented and premiered in 1928. Thus, the two have been credited for inventing the modern dark ride. The first unnamed pretzel ride was built at Tumbling Dam Park. The duo claimed they would give a $5 gold piece to the person that submitted the best name for the attraction, which adjusted for inflation is pretty good actually. The name chosen was the Firefly, because the rail that moved the cart sparked a lot. They didn't keep the name though, because they didn't like the idea of people being reminded that sparks were flying on a wooden coaster. Later, after riding the attraction, one patron claimed that quote, it felt like I was turned and twisted like a pretzel. A year later, the two were constructing pretzel dark rides, selling them for about $1,200 each, which even today isn't crazy expensive for an amusement park ride. Three years after the first pretzel ride opened, Remfer sold a stake in the company to Cassidy. The company survived the depression and the metal shortage of World War II. After the war, Cassidy handed the reins of the company to his son, who would sell the company in 1979. In total, Pretzel built over 1,400 pretzel rides. Pretzel built these rides for both permanent and traveling amusement parks. Portable rides weighed about 9 tons and were transported in moving trucks from carnival to carnival. A lot of pretzel rides have a large metal pretzel attached to the front of each cart, which wasn't just for decoration. It was also to ensure that the ride didn't flip backwards while patrons were in it, which apparently was pretty easy to do. Also, if the ride ever broke down, employees could simply push guests through the ride. The rides usually had a theme, most of the spooky variety. Each ride had five cars, 350 feet of track, and only featured about one to two minutes of ride time, so they were very short. The longest pretzel ride ever created was said to be around 10 minutes total. The most unique thing about these rides were the single rail design, which allowed for sharp, jerky turns. From 1928 to the late 1950s, all pretzel rides were only one story, but they eventually started developing two-story rides. Cassidy didn't like this idea, but his son did, so Pretzel continued to make them regardless. Some of the double-decker rides were even transported around. These took at least five hours to set up at a carnival. One of the most famous pretzel rides was the Haunted Pretzel at Bushkill Park in Easton, Pennsylvania. This was built in 1927, which is odd considering they didn't patent it for another year. Or maybe I'm just reading Wikipedia wrong. It was one of the oldest dark rides still operating in the United States until it was closed after flood damage in 2004. There are a few rides still in operation, including Devil's Den and a haunted pretzel in Camden Park in Huntington, West Virginia. So that is the history of pretzel dark rides. If you want to learn even more about these rides, there's a link in the description below that describes it in more detail than I ever thought imaginable. I also borrowed some pictures from their site, so check it out. I know that the last few episodes of Defunct Land have been quite short. This is not a regular thing, they will get longer again soon, I promise. To learn which pretzel ride will be placed in Defunct Land, how I'm going to get it back, and where it will be placed in the park, please visit thepurge.com with the link below. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe.